Okay, we are gonna be working on our fundraiser for art. This is called Art to Remember. This project you are gonna create on the piece of paper. We're gonna mail it off and then your parents are gonna get a, um, a piece of paper that shows your art on different things they can buy. For example, your art could be on a t-shirt that you could wear or on a Christmas ornament. Um, there is a whole list, lunch boxes, water bottles, pillows, keychains, notebooks, note cards, that you could have your art. So it would not be this picture, but whatever you drew on the item. So there is a specific way we have to do this activity. Um, we're not doing an elephant, but this is a good example of a finished piece. What is wrong with this is there's no, there's too much white paper. We want to get all the paper covered. This one is too small. We got this piece of paper that we need to fill. So we want to make sure that our art takes up the whole paper and that we use bright colors. Now, on the top of your cart, you are gonna see these items. So make sure you listen because we have the paper passer, the supply manager writing our name, and then the supplies to draw our picture. There are two different crowns, whatever crown matches your table versus the crowns we're drawing with. So make sure you know which one we should be getting. The first thing is our paper passer. I'm gonna tell you who grabs the folder out of this. Then they're gonna pass out the papers to everybody. Then th today they're gonna keep the folder because we're not painting. We're just gonna be drawing our picture. So put this off to the side. Get your white paper, horizontal, side to side. And then the supply manager the first supply is going to be the basket that looks like this. Your basket matches your table. It has the crowns that match your group. Give everybody one. Everybody's going to write their own name and their own teacher's code under their name. Return that crown to the basket. Make sure that your supply manager puts it back here. The next supply, once we get all those, will be this basket. This has our black crown. This is what we are gonna be drawing our picture. So don't forget to flip your paper over. Supply manager is gonna give everybody a black. And we are gonna be drawing a plate of apples. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna start with the plate. Now you've got to look at Miss Lawson's paper and see how big or small I draw this. Because if you draw the plate too small, you will not be able to fit the apples on it. So this is the top of my paper, this is the bottom. I'm gonna come near the top in the center and I'm gonna come down some. I hope you know where Miss Lawson is pointing. This is where my plate is going, I just put a dot. That is where my plate is going to be the tallest. Then I'm gonna go to the other side, come in some little dots. Same thing at the bottom. Come up some, a little dot. Come in some, a little dot. I have made four dots on my paper. This is to help guide me as I draw my circle. Now be careful. We don't wanna connect the dots. You're gonna end up drawing a square or a diamond. That's not what Miss Lawson's doing. I'm just using those dots knowing as I draw my circle, I need to make sure I touch or hit or get near the dots. So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm going to not go straight. No, no, no. I want to curve around. Oh, good, I got close to that one. Curve around, I got close to that one. Curve around, I'm a little off, but it's okay. I'm close to it. And curve around. That is the plate that our apples are going to sit on. Notice, it is pretty big. There is a little room at the top, a little room at the sides, and a little room at the bottom. But to make sure that our plate is large enough, we need to make sure that we, those dots guide us, not making us a dot to dot. I don't wanna see dot to dot to dot. I don't wanna see a square. Inside our plate, we're going to draw three apples. All we're gonna do inside, draw a circle. Inside the circle, we're gonna draw a U with a line in the middle. There's one apple, and they can be different. Circle, 
you. Line in the middle. Make this one a little bit smaller. Circle. Line in the middle. Or cur I'm sorry, you. Line in the middle. Circle. You. Line in the middle. So as you can see, I see four apples with four stems coming out of the apple. Okay, next we're gonna add the background details. Now you gotta be careful. We don't wanna draw over the plate. The plate is sitting on top. So when I draw my first line starting left to right, it's gonna go right above the plate. Notice I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down. It's a curvy line. Come down, make a curve, stop at the plate, jump over the plate and finish it. And the third one, it's gonna be near the bottom. Curvy, curvy, curvy. Make sure I don't go into the plate. I'm right underneath it. The last step is gonna be adding polka dots. So one little circle, two little circle, three little circle, four little circle, five little circle, six little circles. Count with me again. One, two, three on the bottom. One, two, three on the top. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many polka dots or little tiny circles should you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Once we get done, we're gonna take our black crowns. Please make sure the supply manager gets those. We're gonna return it to this. Put that back on the cart. And then you're gonna get your folder. That was off to the side. Everybody take your art, put it back in the folder. Miss Lawson will be collecting your folders.